signs drew me to the organisms as you saw the sheer beauty of these organisms and the complexity of what they are able to accomplish when you think of them as being so very simple. Now, I would never have dreamed of trying to paint these things, never, never mind having any kind of show about these things, had it not been for Susan and Colette saying, we ought to paint that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes, because I wanted you to know and I wanted this, you to see the kind of thing that can draw scientists to study certain, in this case, organisms. And it's not about the, the uh, fact that they are able to aggregate and to cooperate in such complex ways in the first instance. In the first instance, it is that you see these little flowers. Full flora. Uh, they're not really flowers, but they're, they're, they're beautiful. And they are not the only things under the microscope that you might see. But with the mixobacteria, and by the way, the mixobacteria are so called because of the slime they produce. Mixo means slime. Mixo is the, the slime, is the organizing factor when they're producing the excluding box. So, the next the story is, you have these bacteria in response to certain stimuli coming together, aggregating in an organized and coordinated way to produce fruiting bodies that look like flowers. So that's what you're seeing, as well as the interpretation, some of my colleagues here, of that phenomenon. That first is a brought are attractive to me because of their beauty. Yeah. And only lastly did they become of interest to me because of the complexity and the fact that they reflect what our cells do under similar circumstances to produce complex human bodies.